Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new SBC Mateus card to review today. Guys, I'm sorry for the reviews being a little bit slower. Um, I'm feeling a little bit off recently in regards to like the motivation part of creating content, I guess because of the silver promo. The silver promo kind of throws me off a lot. Um, but regardless, I want to try to get some reviews out because I felt like playing some regular FIFA because uh, the 3412 tactics is just really fun to use. Like, yes, vulnerable in defense, but uh, just a ton of fun to use to try out different types of players and stuff. So, you guys know me, man. Like, I can go 12 and 8 in foot champs, and I'll still have a ton of fun as long as the general experience is good. So, guys, with Mateus, we're taking a look at someone who is 5 foot 9, high, high work rates, uh, right footed, 3 star skills, 4 star weak foot. Don't care about the skill moves. Weak foot's more important, right? So I can use them on the right side. I can use them on the left side. No problem. Now, with this card, guys, we're going to be trying them out on uh, the engine chemistry style. My only problem with giving this card an engine chemistry style is that obviously you're going to lack in the pace department a little bit, right? So if you give them the engine chemistry style, you boost dribbling significantly, which I think is pretty important for the card, to be honest, because he's a five foot nine player. So making his dribbling as close as possible to the 80s area i think is super ideal for the body type and stuff that he has it's just unfortunate that his sprint speed is going to be a little bit lower for certain situations but the main thing that you have to work with here uh, is obviously going to be work rates because of the fact that he has the 90 stamina and the fact that his acceleration is higher than the sprint speed which i think is really really important uh his defensive stats for base card stats is also set up really nicely too so you don't have to give him a shadow chemistry cell Although I will say that if you want to use him in a more defensive way and you want him to be better defensively, a Shadow Chemistry style will make the most sense because of the plus 9 acceleration, plus 10 sprint speed with some crazy defensive boost in a lot of situations. With the high, high work rate, with the high stamina on a 92 defensive awareness is definitely very nice. But for the review, we're going to be trying him out mostly on the engine to see what I feel like he's missing. Uh, the shooting on the card is fantastic. So if you get into certain situations in game where, you know, you want to pop in a long shot, he actually might be pretty decent at hitting them because of the fact that his shooting is actually set up nicely. Finishing will make it less consistent, but obviously with shot power to 92, 93 for long shots, you could still go for them and he actually might be pretty decent at them, right? Uh, passing on the card, also very good as well. Uh, that's fantastic to work with a four-star weak foot, 89 for composure. Dribbling we will be experimenting with in-game with the engine chemistry style to see if I really care about giving him the shadow that much. And then obviously for physical capabilities, the card's actually set up nicely too because the one thing that people don't look at uh, enough when it comes to midfielders, attackers, defenders is aggression, right? The fact that his aggression is at a 91 with really, really good pace um, is great, especially on a shadow chemistry style if you want to look at him more uh, in the defensive way because you can even use this card potentially as a fullback if you really want to it's just that for fullbacks it's really nice to have 99 99 for both because of the meta of the game again but um yeah we're mostly gonna be trying Mateus out in the midfield position i want to try him out uh in this 3412 because here's the thing about this formation right is that uh i keep the guys on stay back while attacking for the center mids but they play to their work rate. So they're still going to push forward from time to time. Like with Gundogan, you know how he's like a... I think he's like a high medium still, isn't he? If I remember correctly from the review, I'm pretty sure he was, right? So I review so many cards that sometimes I just forget, right? Gundogan, I mentioned to you guys in the um, in the review that the card's not really worth getting. Like he's not special for 400k, to be honest. It's an okay card, but just not that much. Um, yeah, so... With Mateus, we're going to try him out in the midfield position, stay back while attacking, stay on the edge of the box for the cross, but he'll play to that work rate of his pushing forward and coming back, right? So uh, we'll play a couple of games of foot champs, uh, division rivals, and uh, we'll see how he plays. Hopefully he is a beast. Legrand switch with Mateus. Good second man press there with Mateus. The initial challenge there at Mateus was good, though. Well done. I was kind of hoping you would get the initial challenge, though. Mateus is, uh, he's playing well so far. I like him. 
the high high work rates is working out really nicely for him so far. Oh, that was all Mateus right there. That was all Mateus. The pass was brilliant. Benzema is obviously a very good attacker in the game, but the tackle initially with Mateus was great, and then the pass was awesome. Little weak foot pass there too. Nicely done. Transition speed's good there. Oh, what a pass, man. What a pass with Mateus. Fantastic run by Garincha. Good finish, man. We'll take those. Ah, the build to play was nice. He has decent dribbles, dribbles with the engine chemistry style for sure. Oh man, it was a good play though. A good play. Need that track back from him really quickly here. Yeah, it does well. It puts pressure. Oh, unlucky. Get that though? Nice. We'll take that. We will take that. Through balls in this game are crazy. Then you you know Benzema with the uh, Hunter chemistry style. This guy's just kind of wilding. You know what I'll say about Mateus? So, with his card, it's a matter of this, right? So... The engine chemistry style, I do think, is the best chemistry style to give him. But I do feel like he misses that shadow chemistry style for the extra pace and the extra defensive stats. The thing about this card is that his defensive stats as it is, it's already very good. It's just that for you to fully utilize that pace out of the card, the high, high work rates, having a shadow in certain situations could be more ideal, but he just feels so nice on an engine where it's like, you don't really want to give him anything else, you know? So it's just one of those types of situations for sure. Oh, I messed up that tackle. He's back though, he's back in position quickly. See, moments like that, I feel like if I had a little bit extra pace, it would have been helpful, you know? Nice. That's good. I, like I said, even in those situations, though, I feel like I want that extra pace, you know, for the meta of the game. He's noticeably better than literally any other player I've, I've used attacking AI wise. It's actually disgusting. Oh, is he on side? Oh, nice try, Mateus. Not bad. Engine chemistry style. He hits the post from there on a the green. Can't go wrong with that. Ah, uh, you know, I gotta try those, man. I have to try those. His positional awareness every time I'm like pushing him out of position is good. Like the moment I switch off of him, like he kind of occupies the position he's supposed to be in. Very good marking. Sorry, I was trying to do like small little drills to see if I could do anything. No chance though, no chance. Nice shot, Mateus puts pressure on him. It's called Mateus. Yeah, work rates is fantastic to work with too. That's like that's a big thing for him. It's funny because like when he um, when he exits the skill moves, they're just fast, you know. And puts pressure on him. Okay, guys. So final verdict on the new Mateus SBC. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, for me personally, 
I thoroughly enjoy using this card on the engine chemistry style because there's something about boosting his dribbling stats, especially his balance parts, right? Considering the fact that he's five foot nine with an average body type, but it's all of that with the 91 aggression. That's what I like the most, right? The card really feels like it needs the engine chemistry style, but if you want to use them in a more defensive way, obviously you can give them the shadow, but I do feel like the dribbling boost is definitely a very noticeable difference for the card, which is why most people are actually giving him that because yes, you can give him a basic chemistry style. The pace is being increased, a little bit of defense, a little bit of dribbling, but when you give him the balance boost, the agility boost, because of the height and body type that he has, that's where it's really nice to use the card. To be honest with you guys, when it comes to this Mateus card, the only situation that I would say that sucks is the fact that you don't know what chemistry style to give him, right? If you give him a shadow, it would be very nice to have the dribbling because it actually helps you defend better too in certain situations. Um, and then obviously, if you give him the engine, the engine chemistry style boosts the dribbling to be very nice in game, to be fair, considering the fact that he's small with an average body type. But then there's moments where you feel like you want that extra pace for the meta of the game. But the thing is, right, is that AI defending wise, because he has the high, high work rate and his base card stats for defense is actually set up nicely, he still tracks back really nicely because high, high work rates is hugely meta in the game nowadays, right? So if you guys want to unlock the card and you want to have a midfielder that gives you very nice links in your team and he's obviously going to play well in the meta of the game, the card's still going to be pretty sick to get. However, when it comes to me personally, right, if we take a look at a card like this, ooh, they formatted this card strangely, actually, now that I'm looking at them. But I think this card would actually be better on a shadow, potentially, because his dribbling is a little bit higher, but very strangely formatted card, actually, because on an engine, which would also be very nice. Oh, but his acceleration is 98. That's a little bit different. 98, 90, 95, 89. Hmm. The difference is not that massive. Is it in shooting and stuff? Is that where it is? Yeah, shooting, passing, physicality, base card stats for defense. Yeah. But the thing is that as an SBC, as an SBC, it's not bad. How much does he cost as an SBC? Lothar Mateus, 1.31. So similar to the market value of the card on the actual market. <laughs> um, yeah, 1.31 is definitely a lot of money. But like I said, guys, if you want to unlock a player that can play well in the meta of the game, he's sick. But when it comes to these types of SBCs, they do, they do throw me off a little bit with the price. Uh, it just depends, right? Because if you're putting fodder into this SBC uh, because they're out for a while, then I don't think it's terrible to get. But if you're like a full meta rat, it's not a card that you're going to keep for a long time because I do feel like you're going to want the pace to be formatted a little bit differently for you to actually want to use them. But it's a good card, guys. I'm going to be honest. Like, I really enjoyed using him. I, I really did. Uh, as an SBC, it's up there in price for the longevity, but it depends on how you're going to actually utilize your fodder. I would say if his acceleration and sprint speed was a plus two in both, plus two, plus three, which is me being super nitpicky, to be fair, then I'd be like the card solid, right? But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. Like, like I said, if you actually end up completing the SBC, he's still going to be pretty good. Just don't expect him to be like a... Um, like a Gwenduzi, like for a defensive presence in the midfield. You know what I'm saying? Like Gwenduzi is weird because sometimes he doesn't really do tackling, but his positioning with his height, it's the height parts with the tackles. That's what's really killer on that card, right? Uh, because Mateus is smaller, he works a little bit differently. But I mean, guys, the passing is great. Engine chemistry style, you boost the passing even more. Like I love working with that four star weak foot. Like it's a sick card. I like him. SBC, a little bit up their price, but it's pretty, it's pretty, it's pretty good for um for what he offers in game, in my opinion. So just one of those types, you know. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.